God bless you, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm excited today. I pray that you are. I pray that you're having a good day. I pray that things are going your way. And I pray that you are excited about Bible study tonight. All roads lead here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ because we're going to study the scriptures. And the last time we were together, last Thursday night, we talked about uh, the eighth beatitude. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness sake. And I want to talk to you tonight about the uh, this same thing because I want to show you some things in the scripture because it is a, listen to this, it is a marvelous thing to be persecuted for righteousness sake. It is a marvelous thing to draw the ire of the world and the rejection of the world for the sake of Christ. And many believers today are trying to uh, uh, avoid this aspect of biblical Christianity and to kind of, you know, come up with the Christianity that the world likes so that the world would like us and, and we can be one with the world and one with Christ. Well, Jesus has some things to say about that. And the Bible uh, speaks to these people and th there's a word for them. And there's a word for what they're doing. And I'll tell you about it tonight as we study the scriptures together. Before I go off, I hope to say to you, I hope that you are someone, as you are watching this today, I hope that you are proud, those of you who are born again, you're proud of your relationship with Christ, that you're proud to be called a Christian, that you gladly wear the title of believer. Hallelujah, gladly that you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and that Jesus Christ is worth the trouble. You know, whatever persecution, whatever challenges that come your way as a result of your relationship with Christ, I hope you realize that Christ is worth it because he is. He's worth it today. He's worth it tomorrow. And he will be worth it throughout all eternity. So join me tonight. We're going to study the scriptures together. And the God of the Bible is going to bless you real good. 